Okay, gorgeous ones. Oh, I am right now. I would say I'm chilling in my room, but actually I am melting in my room because my room does not have air conditioning and it is about 127 degrees up in here. So that's why I have one of my fans out. I want to get some more. I saw some on Amazon. I might have to get because I think you should. I think a lady should have like a wardrobe of fans. So like when you feel it, especially as we get older. And we might need, you know, we might be feeling our own private summertime. We should have a, a, a matching fan to our outfits. So you need a black fan, you need a pink fan, you need a blue fan. Okay, but I digress because this has absolutely nothing to do with this. <laughs> what I wanted to talk about. Okay, so, yeah, I know. I know I need to put on some makeup. I know I'm a little, like, I have that natural glow, also known as sweat. But anyway... What I wanted to talk about was, I've been thinking about it because, you know, we talk about the big YouTubers, we talk about things on my channel, but because I am all over and watching a lot of beauty videos, especially smaller channels, there's a few things that I think you all need to do. And I think that we as smaller YouTubers, I'm about to call us all out. I try to be better at this. And I'm sure there's some things and what I would like to do is hear some dialogue, especially from viewers, because a lot of us are, you know, creators and viewers, but there's just viewers and you all have some thoughts about these things, too. So um, what I want to talk about is the, the mistakes we make as small YouTubers and why don't complain about growth and why if you're not handling your business. So let's talk about some things that we do as small YouTubers, especially in the beauty community that I deal with, um, that maybe we should try to change and be different about. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so before I even get started, since I got my fan out, you know what else? I've been looking at parasols. I want really cute, like little, you know, to keep the, the shade off, the sun off of me. You know, I'm, you know, because I have always been a sun lover because I'm, you know, I'm kind of a pale person and I do like to have a little color in the summertime, but, you know, it's really not good for you. But what I want is some parasols. So I, but I, okay, let me go back to what I'm talking about. I am so on this right now. I've been looking at parasols and fans. <sighs> All right, let's go forward. Okay. So let's talk about some things I have noticed when it comes to small YouTube channels in the beauty community. I'm not talking about other communities because I don't care about them. I care about my beauty people and I want us all to grow and everything. So here's some things that I want to just say to you all. Now, the number one thing that I have noticed with a lot of small YouTubers is that we are not consistent. Most, you know, it, I, and I know it's hard and challenging to be consistent, especially when people are watching you, especially when you feel like you're just doing this and you're all alone. But the consistency creates your people seeing you. So the reason why I'm saying that is because like, until I was more consistent, until I've, you know, and I'm not the best in my consistency, I do like have it in my head how many I want to do a week. Um... But by me being consistent on some levels, it, it allows me to create the community feeling and things that like that. Now, am I growing as fast as I would like? Hell no. I would like to be in like 5,000 subscribers right now, but I'm not. But I do see growth. And so I'm comfortable with that and I'm okay with it. And it will grow the way it's supposed to, so I'm not tripping. But I would like a big, huge surge of growth, but that's not another conversation. But anyway, number two I've been thinking about. Now, when I go on and use my laptop and I'm watching videos, I have certain, you know, programs on there, extension programs to help me out. And it also shows things that are on your, pro, on your channels. And what I have noticed is that quite a few of you all do not tag your videos. You don't tag them or you don't tag them that well. So what I'm going to tell you right now is that tagging is important. I'm not saying, but I've found that as I tag it better, as I get refine my tags, if I add more tags, if I really, really look at it from that standpoint, that I do get more and get more, you know, people to see it, to view it. And it does come up in recommendations a little more. So it's important that you tag well. 
Now, let me tell you this. If you if you really want to learn how to tag well and things like that, get either TubeBuddy or VidIQ. I'm saying that because I use TubeBuddy. I've just gotten into VidIQ. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to use that one because it has serious analytics. But if you are serious about growth, I mean, some people just like to do videos. But I'm going to be real with y'all. No, that's not true. We don't want to just be posting up videos and nobody watching them. Whether you want to make this a full-time career or if you just want to have this thing going and, and connect with people, you do want people to see your videos. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't make them public. So I'm saying that to say, make sure you're tagging make sure you do the due diligence to make sure that you put your 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 things in a space that will help you do that like for instance yes we know my live streams about tati was really what really got people started on me, a lot of people to see me but before then i had actually started getting a jump based on my eyeshadow collection and i will use and i tagged it really well and i put it out at a time in the beginning of the year and for some reason it just you know people saw it and people liked it and people saw it and people you know and, and so it got a lot of views and so why I'm saying that is because then that's what you want to do you want to make sure you're tagging things in a way that you get more views all right now next up this is a big pet peeve of mine as a small youtuber I'm going to need y'all to really engage in your comments. I need you all to really you do your com you know comments. Let me be honest. It's not like we're getting a lot of comments. You, really, we're not. Because we don't have that many views. So if people comment on your videos, you must interact with them. And let me tell you something. The, hard, the thing that irritates me the most is like if I have left a comment... And it's like a week or two later before you all c respond to it. Now, I'm going to get to give y'all some information. So, and when you do, if you just love my comments, but you don't say anything to me, it annoys me. Even if you give it a thumbs up or if you say, yeah, girl, or whatever, you don't have to have a whole conversation with me, but you should at least leave a comment, reply back. And the reason why I say that, and if you know anything about this, and if you are looking at things, talking about how to gr gain followers and keep people watching, that's one of the things they say. You need to reply. You need to, you need to, you know, have some inter exchange with people. And when you're small, it's so easy because you don't have that many comments. Yes, when you become larger and you've excuse me you got thousands of comments of course it's hard that's why you get come moderators and things <gasps> things excuse me but at our size you need to engage with your audience now I'm gonna say this I understand that many times you don't see your comments or your likes or whatever until you well, you don't even really, we don't really see the likes, but you don't see comments until you maybe get on your laptop so here's what I'm going to tell you to do. If you have a smartphone, an iPhone, you need to download the YouTube Creator Studio app because it allows you to see your comments and then you can at least answer those on the fly. That way you are engaging with your audience. I always try to make sure that I engage with my audience. Even if it's a thank you very much for your kind words or anything, I at least say something. So just giving me a thumbs up or a heart, I'm sorry when I only see 10 comments, uh, that's lazy to me. So I'm just telling you all, that's the way I feel as a, another creator. So I don't know, viewers, y'all tell me, do y'all feel that way too or is it just me? Okay, another thing is, do not, do not come into another person, especially small, you know, we all small. Don't come onto my videos and then leave me that little snarky little thing about, hey, so let's sub back and support each other. You're not watching my videos because let me give y'all a little hint. If you subscribe to my channel and then I see and when I can and if you have your your thing public so I can see that you subscribe to me, then I will go and I see that you have, you know, subscribers. I always go and view when I have time. I view those those and see oh, okay cool I, 
they're doing something let me subscribe back let me give them some support because they you know are on mine and especially if you like you have conversation with me you know we exchange you you leave comments and stuff and then I find out that you have one I'm definitely gonna subscribe to you and if you know me well I'm gonna like you know be like hey let's do this hey you know support you yes you do this and that so don't be leaving me that don't like the very first time you come because I'm not gonna respond I'm not gonna subscribe to you and I'm not gonna support you and you don't have to subscribe to me I'm good with that now the next thing I'm gonna say if you're a small youtuber and I know this is hard for some people but I think you should do some live streams you need to push out that is a such an easy way to engage with your audience and to get people to see you that might not see you because especially if you put in the location your city people can see you based on your city and things and you just come up a little more in the sh in the feeds the recommendations because you're live so therefore and if people are coming on and it is a great way to grow your channel because listen you come on my live streams i am one to watch you so if you say you're going live and i subscribe i will if i see you live i am going to come in your live i'm going to say hey how you doing i support i try to be as supportive as i can to other people and it is a great way to grow your channel so whether or not listen you're willing to get in front of this camera and do it go ahead and be okay with going live now you don't have to be like me and just be all over the place but you can have a specific conversation you want to have and have your talking points or whatever and but understand this is a great way to engage in, and the, the engagement is is real time which means that the people will like it more because they they get to see you as a person and we need that when we're smaller because you know we don't have the great production value we don't have the PR coming in. We are just doing our thing in our way. And so it's a good thing to go ahead and do this. So I'm just telling y'all, this is good. Try it out. I promise it won't hurt you. I promise. Hold on, I got another one. Okay, and so now let me say this is for small YouTubers of all sizes. Because, you know, the one... Um, here's what I don't like to hear and I in the, the in the conversation is oh you know I would never do that as a large youtuber I'll be listen let me tell you something this is business and when this becomes your full-time job and you're doing other things and you're trying to create more revenue streams because you don't know how long this will last your popularity will last don't make those statements don't don't down people for their hustle because this is a hustle and you're trying to hustle too. So don't make those little snarky comments. And let's all get off of the PR conversation. Let's all get off of the PR conversation telling them that you don't want, you don't. Because let's be honest, we all want some fucking PR. If we're doing beauty videos, we want PR because it does so it could stop being in our pocket how much we want this makeup that we want. So let's stop acting like we don't. And let's stop condemning YouTubers for getting the PR. Because ultimately, that's a perk of it. Because there's so much time that we're spending so much money and put, investing so much into this business that we are creating that that's just one of the perks. Is like, yes, I don't have to buy all this because I'm getting it. And I can talk about it. Now, yes, I do have some things I say about PR, which is, you know, don't do those PR hauls and then we never see the stuff again. I get that. I get the things about that. Be honest about PR and be, you know, that you're getting PR and that, you know, and, and let's stop acting like because a person gets PR and they like something and they happen to like things from a brand that they're lying. Maybe they just like the fucking brand. Maybe they just like the products. Who knows? But let's get off this, this thing that unless you're paying for it you, you're not honest let me tell you something many people are honest and they stay honest and so that you know come on now we got to stop that conversation and if people are doing that then just leave them alone if you know if you feel like they're being disingenuous if you feel like they're lying if you feel like they're hawking for you know PR and not being honest then leave them alone but understand that stop saying that you know YouTubers can't do sponsored videos. They can't do this. How do you propose they pay? 
How do you propose they make this into a living? How do you propose they become 100% doing this? Why is my thing on all my... Do y'all see the shade on my, my lamp shade? It's crooked. It's about... I just noticed that. I'm so sorry for all my OCD people. I'm going to fix that, but I didn't know it was like that. But anyway, I pushed it up against the wall because was, I was hot. So um, anyway, don't do that. Because there's going to come a time if you become larger that you're going to get approached for sponsored videos and you're going to want to make the money to make this as a living. Because guess what? If I can make this as my living and do the things I want and enjoy beautiful makeup and share it with the people that I talk to on here, then and do some sponsored videos to help support me doing that, then I'm going to do that. Now, is it going to be that I'm going to lie for a brand? No. Cause that's not my style if i don't like your shit i don't like you I, it's not gonna happen but you just have to understand that is part of the nature of business and you as a small youtuber unless you have the income to not to live or you're doing something that you love that you don't want to ever leave let's be honest most of us if we're making a decent amount of money off of youtube we're going to want to stop working a job and just do this full time. Why? Because we love it and we're doing it. So stop that conversation. Stop it now because you're going to have to backpedal when you start doing when you when you get bigger. Just telling you the truth. Telling you the truth. Y'all know that's what I do. I tell y'all the truth. But anyway, I think that's all I have to say for my small YouTubers. And these things go for me. I'm not saying so. I, I do try to do the things that I'm saying. And I do feel that they are helping me. If not growing me so fast. At least my my subscribers are engaging with me. And, they, and they're part and they watch me. And, and we have conversation. So that's the thing that you want to create. You know, the views and the subscribers will come, but the ones that you have, you must nurture them and make them feel like you even care about them watching your shit. So let's do better with that, small YouTubers, especially, and I'm going to say us micro YouTubers, because we micro YouTubers at this point, because we ain't even got 10,000 subs. So we are micro than a motherfucker. And finally, share each other out share each other out i want to create a support thing where whenever we do a video we put in the cards channels that we love and i think i'm going to start doing that with my people where we will put each other's channels so people can see them that's number one collab 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 be willing to do collabs and in the beauty community do tags because people watch tags and they like them so do a few tags here and there just to help if the, if the tag sounds interesting to you do it because so oftentimes we don't do these things because we don't think anybody's going to watch them and that's how people find you okay so i'm done i'm done i'm officially done all right that's it that's all i think i'm done with this youtube small youtuber small micro youtuber rant for you all and oh please tell me what you think if you have any as viewers or, or other you know viewers tell me your thoughts on this subject do you have any things that you like the smaller youtubers need to be doing better or aren't doing aren't doing at all things like that say that in there in the comments give me a thumbs up if you like it and if you are a small youtuber make sure you comment in here that you are a small youtuber and you are ready to grow tell me some stuff about you i want to hear but don't just throw in hey support me because i'm not going to do that if you if I, if I, this all this is the fucking first time you ever come on my channel all right y'all get your lulu be bold be brave be fearless be free be cool see you later